everyone, I'm Kristen Damro. I'm a contemporary choreographer and dance instructor from San Francisco. Thank you so much for checking out our online movement classes. Today is the floor work series. We're gonna break down the basics. We're gonna move through finding safe and efficient ways to use our anatomy to move in and out of the floor. Today's class is modified for a small space. The flow of class is just gonna keep going. Yeah, so we're not gonna stop and learn choreography. I'm more so gonna give you tools that you can take to get better at floor work on your own. A couple things I wanna talk about in our body. Yeah, first of all, if you just stand, right? We have a heel sits bone connection, right? I want everybody to feel this because I'm gonna be talking about it a lot. So you have our sits bones, which are the two bony points at the base of our pelvis and we have our heels. And when you're standing, you can feel this align when you bend your knees, right? Those heels and sits bones just drop down. So I'm gonna be talking a lot about that when we're on our floor. There's a direct relationship of that push and extension of our legs, okay, as we go. Secondly, I want you just to think a lot about your column of your spine for a second, right? We have our skull, right, stacked on top. We have our cervical vertebrae. We have our thoracic spine, which is connected to our ribs. We have our lumbar that's connected to our pelvis and our legs, yeah, down below. So we'll be thinking a lot about this drop of the spine. So that's another place I want you to think about. Also, I want you to think about your palms, your wrists, your elbows, this bending and folding that our arms can do just like our legs when we plie, right? So pliéing of the arms is a real thing. And every time we connect our hands to the floor, everybody, it's flat. It's always absorbing. I want you to imagine that your hands are your feet. Little funky image there to start. So first we're gonna start actually standing, right? What I want you to do, we're gonna move through some improvisation. So it doesn't have to look like what I'm doing. I want you to investigate for yourself what it feels like to drop your body weight, okay? So first we're just gonna start in standing. I'm gonna turn on some music here behind us. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just close our eyes. This first part of class is just to start to feel how our own body weight kind of absorbs into gravity. So you'll find, as you have yourself standing on two feet with your eyes closed, this gentle stir that your body does with gravity. And I just want you to indulge in that a little bit. Having really soft knees, soft spine, Feels like you're kind of gently swaying in the wind. Let that build a little bit. Just starting to feel like that movement through your body takes over, still keeping your feet planted and rooted. I really want you to listen to how it feels on the soles of your feet. Yeah, how the weight kind of transfers through the toes, through the arches, through the heels, and how that starts to relate up your legs, the bend of the knees, the hips. And then that spine starts to sway. We'll be using our body weight a lot, so it's really good to feel the full landscape of how our body feels just moving around. Start to feel the weight of your head. Dropping the weight of our head really influences our full spine all the way to our tail. So we really want to feel that involved in the whole weight of our body. Start to take it a little fuller side to side, forward and back. Starting to feel your weight getting a little lower towards the floor. Start to let your feet shift a little bit as well. Letting your body react to where your weight tosses in space. Keeping it really soft, everybody, yeah? Kind of indulgent, juicy. Good. Just start to let it toss you around the room. Again, starting to listen into where your body's falling and catching. Just gaining a full understanding in our upright body. So when we start to get low, we know where we're going. Lovely, good. Start to feel this little sway of your pelvis, your hips. 
right? This is a big bony structure in our body that's really gonna influence how our weight connects through the floor from our hips. Feel how that resonates in the spine, good, that's it. A little more. The feet can move as you like. Rest of the body jostling around. Good, about 10 more seconds of this. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Arrive back in a standing place, kind of those feet planted right underneath your hips. We're just gonna melt from the top of the head down to the floor in a couple different ways, again, how it looks for yourself, not exactly like mine, but let's stay on the same pathways, yeah? Curling chin to chest, let it fold. Soften your joints on the way there. We call this a roll down as well. Hands just find the floor and send it right back up. Just that, roll up. Good, do that one more time. We arrive to the top, then we take it down. Just feeling how the sequence is, weight connects back to the floor, kind of like a big wet mop. Good, up to the top. Take it on over to the right side. Now as we take it sideways, I want you to navigate through your legs. Yeah, they might have to fold. You might have to catch your weight differently. Make sure that head is heavy. Shake it up and go back up. Good, and tip the crown of the head the other way. Go to the left. Feel that side body, really feel it drape, like water's dripping out the top of your head. Oh, good. Find the floor, bring it back up. Good, one more time each side, just to feel that tip. It might be a different pathway, that's great. Just feeling that side space. Start to feel how it gently opens up that left side as you drift to the right. Good, easy on the bottom. Bring it up to the top, over to the left, and really listen. Shake out that head when you need. Make sure it's nice and heavy, yeah? Good, hands connect to the floor. Back up top. Oh. Good, driving up. Good, give that a little shake out. Your spine should feel really open here. Take a breath. little change of tune here. Okay, we are going to keep with this improvisation. I'm gonna start at 10, right? We're gonna take 10 seconds to melt to the floor. We're gonna relax for 10 seconds. Then we'll come 10 counts up. We'll cut it down to eight, stay for eight, up for eight, six, down, stay, up, four, da-da, da-da, you get the flow. When we go to twos, we're not gonna stop. Yeah, we'll just go up, down, up, down. What I want you to focus on in this moment, we're gonna go all the way to the floor. So as you take your pathways, again, can look totally how you want. I want you to start to feel how your legs, your arms assist you. And when you arrive down low, everybody, really relax, right? Really listen to your body weight down. Then as you start to come up, feeling those moments, right? You wanna go slow. Feel like your body's crazy heavy, yeah, towards the floor taking those moments, taking those pathways, especially in the long run, right? That you get all the way to the top. Then as it gets faster, we can use those pathways to move with ease, okay? We're gonna give it a go in 10 counts to start. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and settle. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Make it to the top. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, eight counts down, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay for eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up top, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, count six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay for six, five, four, three, two, one. Up for six, five, four, three, two, one, four down, four, three, two, one. Stay for four, three, two, one. Up top, four, three, two, one, two counts. One, two, up one, two down for one, two up for one, Two, go again, down, two, and up, two, and down, two, and up, two, and pause. Good, everybody, shake that out. Those faster ones got speedy, right? So even listening, right, as you increase that speed, how those folds really relate to the rest of your body. Okay, we're gonna get on down to the floor now. Yeah, so start with me here. Legs long in front of you. Just taking a moment, everybody, feel this length of your spine, right? There's a direct relationship from the crown of our head through our sits bones when we do floor work. Our glutes and all those muscles back there act like padding. Same with our quads, IT band, all that in our upper legs. So just take a little lean to the side. Feel how that sits bone gently lifts off. Come back. Go to the other side, little lean. Feel that gentle lift. Good, and come back. Do that again, right? So we start to feel how this spine influences our pelvis, right? How it starts to release weight from one side to the other. And then your arms, they're just folding, they're bending. Let's go again to feel that in our upper body, right? Connecting, I'm not winging it out, I'm absorbing my weight and coming back. That again, one more time, the other side. And come back up. Good, everybody. Take your hands, just place them about three inches behind you and bend your knees. Feel the support system, yeah? From your shoulders down to your hands. It's soft, right? I'm not being really stiff. I'm letting it be mobile, yeah, in my chest body. We're gonna play with the weight of the legs just for a second. Just drop, bring it up, and drop, bring it up. Good, do that again. Soften the soles of the feet, drop. Bring it up. Good, and drop. Bring it up. Notice now how the weight of our legs, keep going, influences also our pelvis. Our elbows again are really soft, don't lock them out. You can always adjust your hands if you need to, drop. One more time to the left, and drop. Good, now we're gonna play with that weight, swinging our legs, keeping the base of our hands the same. We go drop, swing, we bring it back, good. Tracing the toe on the floor, it's easy, right? I'm not lifting and kicking, it's staying low to the floor. I'm listening to this drop of my legs, so I'm not gripping anything in my muscles, right? I want floor work to feel good in the body, yeah. A few more, drop. Bring it up, you might feel a gentle twist in your spine, that's good. Let's go one more time, right and left, drop. Bring it up, good, and drop. Bring it up, good. Come back to our kind of neutral seated. So those legs can fold and bend as we get lower to the floor to protect our body, right? And take this length and fold it into our center so it's easier. We're gonna play with that a little bit here. All we're gonna do is you're gonna walk your hands to the side, bend your knees, and push back up. Good, go the other way. Drop to the side, and push back up, good. Keep going that way, right? And notice my head. Just like we took our little falls through our spine, you're gonna keep tipping. Good. Up. And I'm just going to the base of my hands, 
feeling that absorb in my body. And notice how I'm really playing with the sequence. Bada, da da, right? I want to just listen to those folds and extension to stay really soft. Changing just a little bit, we're gonna lay all the way down. Lay all the way down. Soften your weight. Leave your head behind, go up. Extend, good. Other side, drop, da da da. Notice your elbows getting caught under you. That acts as a lever to push you up. Your legs unfold the same time. Drop to the side, drop. Good, send it up, lengthen. Stack it up, good. And go the other way, drop. And up. Good. Let's go one more time. Really focus on those arms. This fold of the lower arm is really important. The ulna radius in the lower arm bones really help us mobilize and press our body up. Soft work. Good. Bring it up. Nice, everybody. Good. Adding on one detail to that. We're going to go soft and lower. We're going to stay with the legs and we're going to go push. Toss. Push. Toss, yeah? Go back if you're not there, ready? Legs long in front, we're gonna fall to the side just like we did on the right. Now you're gonna keep the legs there and you're gonna push. My legs kinda slide. If you look at your legs, they look like a Z, yeah? Fourth position, sit. And I'm just letting this rock. If this at all feels funky in your back knee, open it up a little bit to the side, yeah. Feet are soft. Feeling this little catch of weight, ooh. Right? Feels like a little ride up the spine. Again, nice and easy. I'm just using those arms. And again, not leading with the head. Spine. Couple more. Woo! So I don't get too dizzy. <laughs> Good. Next one, stay down. Stay down. Soften. Huh. Extend like we did before. Let's do that same thing to the other side. Ready? Tip. Like stay. Push. Oh, easy. Each side's gonna feel so different, everybody. Be okay with that, yeah? <laughs> Depending on our hip flexibility, the strength of our arms. So we really always gotta do both sides, right? It's just like in technique class, we do both sides of everything, so you gotta be prepared. Easy shift. Feel that stretch in your neck, right? Again, if that feels funky on knees, just soften it, open it. It doesn't have to be a big bend. A couple more. Toss this way to the head. Next one, let's stay down. Stay down, soften. Lay there, good. And press up tall. Whee! Yeah, yeah, lovely everybody, good. Now, that's a lot of folding, right? We can utilize our arms to press in and out of the floor. Now, how do we get a little bit more into our center to support us? So, watch me here for a sec. We're gonna bend the knees, we're gonna roll down. I'm gonna give you a side view. We're gonna roll down through our spine, right? Then we would curl to the side. That's where we were before. And we're gonna push to sit up. I changed directions a little bit. Let me show you as if I were you here. So we're gonna roll down through our spine. We're gonna bend our knees. You can use your hands on the back of your thighs to lower. Right, we're here, we're wide. Good, we go over to the side, the leg. Good, then just like we did, we're gonna push ourselves up and now our legs are extending to the front. Front. Front, so it's a little bit more core work, yeah? Let's try the other side. Bend the knees, walk down. Good. Head's the last thing, make sure it's heavy. Good, drop everything to the side. Now my arms are going over my head, I'm curling in. Good, those arms get under me, I push, I walk up. Yeah, good. Again, bend the knees, chin to chest. Little abdomen will work. Good. And down, soften. Good, over to the side, that same knee drop is right here. Drop, drop. Bring your arms underneath you, press up. Sit long, walk it up. Good, other way, go down, core. Walk it, walk it, walk it, good. Lower down, extend. Good, curl to the side. Sit up, press, sit up tall. Use those arms, easy head. Good, one more time, just a hair faster, down. Feel as if it's a dance, even here. You connect, you open, Whee. you go to the side. Good, you press up. Feel those sits bones, back even. Good, go down, last time. Nice, everybody. Down, meow. And curl to the side. Good, sit up tall. 
Sit up tall. So those arm folds, really important to help. Now what if we slide to the side, yeah? So feeling that same tip, everybody, yeah? We're gonna slide out to the side, woo! Good, then all we're gonna do is we're gonna peel through our hip. Use this hand, you're gonna walk yourself up. So now we're feeling our hips start to stack, boom. So now how can we use the weight of the pelvis like we did in standing to bring us back up? Use your hands too, walk. Head's the last thing. Oh, there's a little core work. Just like our side bend when we're standing, we're going again, slide, land. Good, bring it back up, press, walk it up. Heavy head, heavy hip. Good, go again, left, drop. Stack this, don't be here, stack. Good, walk it up. One more time, yes, I know it's a little work in the core. Don't grip this, slide out, right. Good, walk it in. That's the last thing. Good. Control this with your center. And down. Good. Walk it up. Nice, everybody. Now we're going to take that slide in a different direction. This one's a little funky with direction, so I'm going to show it once. You're going to take your left arm across your body. Your right hand is going to act like a little elevator. It's going to bend. You're going to fold to your belly. Then you're going to draw that arm in and you're gonna press, fold to the side, and you're gonna sit back up. So we're starting to connect some dots, okay, as we go. Let's try that same side one more time, join me. Right hand goes right by your pelvis. You're gonna slide across, you're gonna to reach towards the back of your room, find your belly. Good, then bring your hand to your shoulder, curl to the side, and push, sit up. Let's go the other way. Hand down on the left, right arm reaches across. Dive to your belly, relax. Let everything go. Hand under shoulder, curl to the side. Your arm is gonna get folded under you right here. Yeah, then press, extend like we did. We're going again. Reach across, dive, belly, 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 extend, soften, no grip. Hand by your shoulders, press to fold, and out to sit, good. Last time, dive across. Good, hand under shoulders, press to side, sit up, tall. Good, yes, okay. So we're gonna start to feel how we can take this into little rolls that start to help us propel through space side to side. First, I want you to feel this relax of your hips. So just take a little windshield wiper. So we don't wanna grip any of this in our lower body as we go, okay? So keep everything really folding and soft. We're gonna play with this folding side to side. So all I want you to do is take the right leg, open and put it back. Left leg, open, put it back. I'm not changing anything in my sits bones, those bony points in my pelvis. I'm just feeling this open and fold side to side. I'm not forcing anything. I'm feeling a real ease through my head. Good. Couple more, each side. Good. And right. And left. Good. Bring it back. We're gonna add on just a little. You're gonna open side. You're gonna fold your left leg in, kind of like child's pose. Then you're gonna rewind open to find that sit and extend. Real quick, you are going to the top of your feet. Don't catch the ball mount, okay? This is a rolling surface we can move against, yeah? So really easy, top of the feet. Try that side again, we fold in. I press weight into my hands to tuck that left leg. I extend, I stay low and open up. Let's try the other side. Fold open on the left, tuck in the right. Now I don't want to lift up here, that's a lot for my knees. I want to keep my heels on my sits bones. That might feel like an opening for the top of your ankles. It takes a minute to get there, so be generous with your body, okay? Because we want to feel this tip of our pelvis as we sit back, that frees up our legs, just like we feel here, okay? Let's go side to side, right, left a few times. Fold in, open right, open, left folds in. Now go back, open up, press, extend, beautiful, good. Other side, open, 
Fold, feel that heel to sits bone connection. And drop back. Good, before we go again, think about your spines, right? Another quick side view here. I'm letting my spine be heavy. So the weight is dropped over my legs. You can try this on your own. Also, as you sit up, if you're joining me, sit up for a second, right? And you can feel that weight is more driving down through your sits bones. Yeah, fold forward, feel that. Right, it releases a little bit. Now, if you roll up again, it's draping down. Okay, so that's going to influence how much your pelvis moves in space. So as we take that roll side to side again, really soften your spine over your legs. To the right. Here we go. Fold in. Find that left joining and go back. Open and sit. Good. Go again. Fold. Soften. Good. Open up. Open. Good, let's go one more time, that's it. And go in. Good, go back up. Last time, left and fold in. Go back, back. Good, everybody relax that. You're welcome to rub down the top of your feet a little bit, roll out your ankles if that feels good for you. Now we're gonna take this a little bit lower. How can we use that information we found in the bend of our arms, the mechanics of the fold, to now push us off and take us into little rolls? It looks like this. We'll fold in, we'll fold in. Then we're gonna go back and we're gonna connect to the floor. We're gonna open up all the way to the other side. Then we're gonna sit up, sit up, sit up. Yeah, I'm gonna do that side again. You're welcome to join me. Fold just to where we were. We're gonna use this arm to lower us onto our side and find the weight of our pelvis. Sweep over top, connect your arms to the floor, curl into the opposite side just like we found. Sit up. Good, go with me, second side, fold. Find it soft. Now we're going back to where we came from. Forearm on the floor, spill your body open. Good, go to the other side. Fold in, press it up like we did, heavy head. Good, let's do that side one more time and then we'll go right to left. Fold in, soften, good. Go back to where you were, go back. Roll, back, all the way to the other side. Good, and sit up, press. Good, let's go right, left, right, left. Here we go, fold. Keep it soft, everybody. Melt to that side, melt. Spill, feel the connected weight of your body, legs over top to the other side. And press, get your legs long. Good, we're going to the left, fold. Good, settle there. Now go back, go back, melt. Big body on the floor. Over top sweep, fold in. Feel that seamlessness like we did, moving our weight and standing through the body. We go again. Imagine your body's just tipping to the floor. Good, shins, go back. Open, curl, extend, heavy head, heavy head, side, fine. Sequences, go down, go down left. Last time, everybody, good. That's it, and go back, roll. Open, open, good, all the way, extend, and press it up, good, yeah, everybody, nice. So, remember this, go back to it for a second, give your hips a little relax, you can always take a moment, rub out the top of your feet as you need, keep those shoulders back. So now, how do we feel ourselves rolling side to side? So start to push off of that arm. Feel a little catch, feel a little swing. Feel that weight going back and forth between your sits bones. Right, adding on just a little bit. We would go roll, shift, roll, back. Roll, shift, roll, back, yeah? So we drop our knees to the right, just like we did, but now, instead of going down, I'm gonna push from my back hand and I'm gonna go over the top of my shin 
and I'm going to find my hip again back in support. Notice my spine again is not really stiff and stacked, it's easy. It's flowing with the roll of my body so my weight transfers. Let's go slow, both sides a few times. Open, press, back and down. Good, open, press, back and down. Good, let's go again, over. Back, good. Over, press. Let's say one more time each side. Feels good on the hips. Easy spine. See where it can be softer. Little sloshy through it. Good. Over top. Good. Extend those legs. Go back to this. Yeah, remember this from the start? Now, how can we get our body lower? How can we feel a connection of our belly to the floor? Sit tall, extend your arms for a sec. So we want to think of the mechanics of our arms really simplified. We're going to fold and push. Notice I'm not going here. That makes my chest heavier towards the floor. I want to use my torso to connect and push it, make it easier. These hands come right in front of the shoulder socket, so I'm supporting my torso as I lower to the floor. You're going to soften your arms. That's kind of slide across like we did, but we're not going to slide out this time. We're going to put our hand down. We're going to go to our belly. We're going to push, and we're going to come up. Yeah? Hand down. Hand down on the other side. Go to your belly. Belly button touches. Pressing up. Quick side view so you can really see how those arms are working. Hand down. I'm feeling the length of my spine from crown of my head to my tail. So I'm not here. I'm not here. Yeah, I'm feeling the energy out my spine. Dive down, extend. Good. Then I keep going. So I'm not reversing. I keep going. Press to come up. Yeah? Back to your facing here. Keep this moving, don't stop, right? Feels like an elevator, side to side. Let's give it a go. Dive down, belly. Nice and easy, keep it rolling. Press up, good. Go back the other way, dive down, dive down. Long spine. Press up, good. A few more. Again, that same sort of toss with the spine as we go. Go ahead, peel it up. That's it. Dive down. Let's say two more. Right and left. Down. Good. Easy spine. Lengthen out. Press up tall. And sit. Good. Dive down. Roll. Press. Sit. Good, everybody. Shake out those legs. Shake out those arms. Just flat to an X. To finish out this series, we're just gonna take our 10 counts, staying still in 10 counts back up. Yeah, just to kind of seal it out with this knowledge now in our body. Stay for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 10 counts up, 10, nine, use those tools, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, everybody. Shake that out. All right, everybody, that concludes our first of our floor work series. I will be recording more of these series that advance. Yeah, it'll go from upright to mid-level to different roles on shoulders and things like that. So come on back, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Just stay connected with us, yeah? If you want to find our other contemporary technique classes, you can find them on our website, which is linked below, or it's kristendamro.com slash online dash class. There's also a way to donate on there. So if you're really enjoying these classes, if you've taken multiple of them and you have the means to donate, go for it. That would be rad. Until next time, see you then.